Hello, uh, this is Pavel from Runquiz. For the last few days, I've been working on the use case on how to build high quality, high authority uh, Web2 blog network. Um, you can see it in my account so that where the spike in the number of posts are in. So I created a project, I set up a network, and I follow the steps on how to uh, uh, how to build authority for the block uh, blocks before I start using them for link building. Um, it's uh, way far from the being completed, and this is more of the results in progress. But uh, like about a week in, results are so impressive, so I decided to share with our users. So I set up, uh, I set up a project, um, and I used this project in my uh, last uh, demo and it is for a local electrician company. Um, they have, uh, I thought they had the one side, they apparently have two, so I added sites, they created the project, but um, I don't do any link building for sites. As I said, the purpose of the uh, use case is to build high quality web network before I start doing it for link building. You can see that I have warm up uh, network, I have staging, and uh, I had automation of moving them from one to another. I have another campaign set back linking. Um, I will go through step by step in, uh, uh, in uh, another video. But you can see that the whole project started about 10 days. There are a little of post and then interruption. And like then there was uh, more posts uh, for uh, about five, far more, five more days. So uh, as a result, I'm using our web account creator um, to build uh, more of niche specific blogs and I move them and you can see that over time I accumulated like 900 plus uh, blogs that are uh, filling into my criteria of um, uh, initial, the, 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 to be in a staging, uh, staging network. So now I'm building backlinks to, to this network and again, so I'm just uh, the purpose is to build authority for them. Um, as I said, there are like more steps in the process, but uh, the results are very impressive. And for the one I attributed to the quality of the content, so we paused. Uh, recently, I uh, mentioned that we released the option to use multiple to, uh, to create a multiple topic content and for the first it is will be very suitable for uh, those who target local niches uh, to to make it brief so run quiz as you know creates the uh, topic based content and uh, no any other system that does um, automatic content generation does it to this that, that level uh, pretty much every system uh, we know still use what uh, Bronquist did three years ago. So we just like create a, a chunk of uh, more or less relevant keywords and scrape a bulb of the um, a lot of uh, content and mash it up and as a result create some kind of content. Mm -hmm. So Runquiz went further and created an uh, option to build it in a, based on topic. So the, uh, the approach when everything mashed in together creates somewhat related to one generic uh, niche, uh, electrician. It's not a good enough for 2015. The content is, must be more and more specific. Uh, as you know, uh, I always uh, mentioned that three main criteria uh, uh, for the successful and safe SEO uh, nowadays is the high authority, target relevant content, and diversified uh, anchor profile. Everyone understands authority and PBMs are very popular now, but content part, uh, still many believe that it's just somewhat electrician related content would be good enough for this. So we have topics you can see that on different services in pod lights and uh, heated floors, but we moved further and we created two topic content and we see services, you can see the uh, locations and um, without going much in detail, when Runquiz creates content uh, with the intersection of two topics, you will see articles that are, let's say, heated floors, Toronto. 
So, and based on the template we set up, it is a heated floors in Toronto. There is like chunk of text that is about heated floors. Then there is a Toronto relevant content and that's like from news videos and all stuff. And it uh, ends uh, with another uh, paragraph about uh, heated floors in Toronto. And let's say Port Lights and Mississauga, that is a town around um, Toronto. That will be Port Lights, that will be Mississauga content, and that will be again something about uh, home improvement Port Lights. I, I challenge anyone who orders content that, so that who preaches that manual content, that the order in, uh, in bulk cheaper manual content is better than automatic syndicated content to show the same results because what you'll get if you order specific content to promote company, let's say in uh, Mississauga or Oakville or, or Toronto, even if it's a bigger city for the, some specific keywords, you'll get uh, yet another article on the heated floors that you already have a million in the internet, specifically on heated floors, and there will be randomly uh, embedded like uh, heated floors Toronto or something assuming that this is um, uh, content related to heated floors, so good enough to promote heated flo uh, floors in Toronto. So we went completely different approach and results are to follow. So I'm back to the project and uh, uh, before I go into results, uh, like let's uh, talk briefly about authority. So there are like several metrics. So there's no, there's no um, one final proof what is authority uh, and ECR, there are like metrics, and there are different providers of metrics. Uh, there's uh, Moz.com, there are uh, Majestics, Ahrefs. Everyone is coming up with uh, somewhat uh, indication of what uh, the quality of the main, what quality of the blocks. And I'm not in any mean want to undermine the work that those guys do. That's tremendous, tremendous works. And there are a lot of uh, people who claim that, let's say, most metrics means nothing. It's not true. They do correlation. Uh, they do. They collect massive, man, massive indexes. They do correlation with the um, Google uh, results, search results, and this is the key point. How do you, can you measure? How can you measure the the core, the, the metrics? How do you create metrics to make sure that it's trustworthy? Only if you measure it against uh, Google uh, search results, because. Ultimately, if you think what is the uh, proof authority, what indication of authority in Google um, for the some uh, like blog and a specific keyword, like the most uh, uh, the, the highest authority for the specific keyword in Google's eyes, the, the uh, site or blog that holds the first position in search results. Like if it's on the first page, if it's within 100 results, this is this is the authority. Uh, indication. It doesn't mean that others are not uh, 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 as good authority, but if they are on the search results, it's good authority. So going back to those indexes, we all, uh, Runquiz collects uh, um, metrics from all of those services, but the problem with them is just it takes very long time to update. Um, of course, they focus first on the top level domains. There are like millions, probably I don't know, millions or tens of millions of hundreds. I don't know how many. I didn't search, uh, search, search the number. There are a lot of top level domains, and this is where they focus first. Of course, they do update Web2 blogs too, but that's not a high priority and it's not as easy to um, track and follow. So, if we will just rely only on uh, Majestics or let's say most metrics, it will be a long time before we see that uh, any of them are built in. Um, so that's why we have our metrics based on, it's not really metrics, our indication based on the uh, built-in rank, tr uh, rank tracker. So Runquiz rank tracker is arguably, uh, it's, it's different from any other uh, rank tracker out there. So it's, if you just want to measure tracking of your main site, uh, and so there are like a lot of trackers that do better job. And we're not any way in competition with that because we built our rank tracker for a completely different purpose. We do bulk rank tracker and we want to see, we want to scan a search result up to the maximum position and we want to see them, um, all our blogs or how they're doing um, compared to search results. Like 
I go to Rank Tracker for this project, and again, so that's as I mentioned, it's like results are uh, impressive. I go to the uh, Rank Tracker, and you can see that you know, we have 30 keywords tracked, and uh, mm, out of them, 22 are ranking. And those two sites that are uh, the, the main side of the client, they're just barely ranking. So um, those all ranking are coming from Web2 blogs. And let's see mm, if I do top 500 uh, and see the results. Uh, let's say uh, first 100. 47th position, a little bit over the 100. Uh, meet first 100. A little bit above. So if I go through all of them, like it's dozens, probably 100 plus blogs are uh, ranking for local keywords. Anyone who look at the keyword will say that it's not really a big deal to to rank a blog or site for the custom outdoor lighting Mississauga. That's true, but you're not you're not uh, looking to uh, make it a main um, uh, main uh, uh, keyword you rank on your client site. But if you follow the rule that if uh, you want to rank your client site for let's say ten keywords. And out of 10 keywords, you create 100 low competition, but highly relevant keywords, long tail keywords for those uh, 10. Let's say you, you come up with 10, then out of them, you create 100. And then you want to rank your uh, uh, first tier, might be even second tier uh, blogs for those 100 keywords. This is where you get... Um, proof of authority from Google if you will be able to rank them. Let's say the next result. So there are five blogs and that's that's really impressive. Position number one, number two, number three, number four, and number eight. For local, uh, the, the local search, custom outdoor lighting Mississauga. So we have first position, second position, third position, fourth position, and there is one block down there. That's impressive. Like that's um, that's a uh, um, outward uh, worth keyword. You can see there are a lot of uh, paid advertising on the keyword, and this is the typical uh, page that dominates by home stars. Uh, or any other company, the directory that provides uh, reviews for uh, local services. And yet in the four or five days of this type of promotion, so uh, for this keyword, all of the Web2 blogs are really going into first page. Now, speaking of the first page, I don't really want them to be on the first page. I don't want to upset uh, local business owners. I don't want to report those blogs. I don't want any manual review of this. As of my concern, first page, not any how better than second, third, one uh, within first hundred, might be even within 200. doesn't really matter. If I have, like my concern is to have more blogs within first 200 rather than have few within first page. Like first page, uh, it's not sustainable. I know for sure they will not stay long on the first page. But if they're going to be, if I have 200 blocks within 200 results for low competition relevant keywords um, for a long time, this is the safe block and high authority block network I can use for my clients. And if I scroll down, you can see that um, in some keywords, uh, results with Bing are even more impressive. seven eight ten nineteen that's impressive um, if I have 19 blocks within four days that are ranking for the relevant uh, local search keywords I can now use them for I can group them and uh, based on the keyword and I can 
place one post to uh, hold it uh, the, with the specific content that is promotion promoting this specific keywords pointing to the specific page on the uh, client side that is uh, so about pot light installation in the Mississauga. So basically, um, the the whole authority building in this case is coming down to uh, trying to rank all of those blogs to the uh, to on uh, on the search results uh, to, to appear on the search result in any position, like any what we track, like we track them to uh, as long as just uh, the um, listings holds. You know, we see some of the uh, listings are in the 600, 700. In fact, not many goes beyond 500. Even the uh, Google shows, let's say, 5 million uh, results. Like if you scroll down, in fact, it doesn't go that far. But this is where I'm going to focus on, continue this. And if I have, as I said, so like I don't need to post more content. I, actually, the posting final, posting the, making the post with the link to the site is not a big deal. This is one I can craft. This is one I can focus on. This is one I can pl place to link it. It's not a big deal. I don't need too many links coming from the same block to the, to the client site over and over again. This is, this is my asset now. So those blogs, and I'm going to be working, I'm going to be backlinking them. So I still have several steps to do. I need to, um, I do bookmarking. I do, I'm going to send them to GSC to backlink. So basically the more authority those blogs are, the more value they, uh, they have. So I don't want to just hammer them like with uh, more posts over and over again. So I probably will focus on backlinking them and mo make sure that I at any moment of time have, let's say, 100 or 200 uh, blogs uh, that are of the high quality. Of course, over time, I will see the, the uh, Majestic um, ranking, uh, like uh, uh, metrics going up. I will see most metrics goes up. But as, as of today, four or five days within campaign, I already have 100 plus Web2 blogs that are ranking um, for the local search. And this is proof that I'm on the right path to build a network. Mm, I'm not doing any link building for them. So uh, at the moment, it's fine. So the, there is a time. So I can rather work in the meantime on building other SEO properties. I can build citation for them. I can build YouTube video. I can like there are a lot of there are a lot of room for uh, working on the site and might be SEO properties before I start hitting them with links. But once I have this, I know for a fact that it's going to be safe. That will be uh, pro that will produce results. Like once I have them, once I have them to the authority, I like, so I probably will start one post on every block with the link to the site, well spread. Like, I mean, if I have 900 blocks now, I don't need to post them right now. I will spread them over like long period of time, but that will be controlled. The one thing that will improve in this is um, adding more uh, keywords in the list. So I'm currently tracking 30 keywords. This is exactly say 30 keywords I use to build the content. As I said that, uh, if I can come up with another 60 or 70 keywords that will be somewhat relevant to, not somewhat, but uh, relevant to the, um, relevant to the keywords, the main keywords I want to, to promote the client side onto, it's still good. If I see them ranking, let's say the uh, hit it for Toronto. Let's say hit it for Toronto or hit it for Toronto installation or um, you, you know what I mean. So that the, the long tail keywords that even have a less competition, you can see the competition me metrics. I can see like, uh, well, well, first of all, because they are geolocated, uh, and it's Canadian, uh, so we, we pull this uh, information from Google and from uh, SEMrush. So they don't even report any search volume. Yeah, it's local keywords. But for me, it's good enough to see that I have uh, blocks of ranking for those keywords. It means they're worthy and they if they disappear, 
from search results, so they might be um, replaced by high quality sites and it's still good. Might be they were penalized. But as long as they search result, I don't need to have a second thought. They're good. So basically, this is uh, uh, the update on the process, as I said, so that uh, just a few days into campaign, uh, the, the use case, I see the uh, tremendous results. And there are a lot of questions coming over and over again, what to do with the run quiz. And I always... Uh, I always have a dilemma between of uh, going into very detailed uh, setup how to use this. I was always against this, and uh, at the beginning when it was only for gigs, uh, service only for gigs, um, who knows what they do. Um, I always stayed out of question. Show me the ranking. Show me some. We never uh, position ourselves as a service that gets you on the first uh, first page ranking or something. So we provide you services, uh, provide you a set of tools that. Um, we believe is you uh, any SEO needs to uh, in the arsenal to help them run their sites. But if I go in the exact exact scenario, so it probably will fall into the a um, mm, lot of uh, short uh, short life cycle products where like there's uh, some working use case, then someone create either product or. Uh, tool for that, then everyone starts using, then then it stops working, then everyone ab abandons this, and uh, I need to come up with something new, and it just goes product to product. So our service is long term, and uh, mm, that's why I always uh, try to stay away of just doing one scenario that will uh, everyone will follow. But in the same time, I uh, I don't want to see people coming and don't know what to do and leave and start yapping all over so that Ronquiz is garbage and doesn't work. It does work. It does work and it requires um, it requires uh, you to understand how to you structure your campaign, how you uh, position your. Uh, um, so what goal you try to achieve, what you want to monitor. So that's why we're just open for feedback on what exactly is needed more to this. But this is one use case. And as I said, uh, the premise of our run tracker is uh, to uh, see the feedback from Google of how you do in your promotion. Um, so I was hoping to make it short. Uh, I never can. Uh, I never can. Uh, keep up uh, to the promise of keeping up short so but hopefully uh, at least some of you enjoyed the, the video and get some new ideas thank you for watching and thank you for using Bronquist